and it's PCL player here and in this video I'll be showing you how to fix DEV error 6071 for the game Call of Duty Modern Warfare but before starting I would like to share something with you all and I want you to listen to it so the thing is all of the solutions that I will be showing to you in this video are working for at least some of the users so the thing is none of the solution is useless so I don't think there's a point of disliking this video even after watching this video this problem is not fixed for you because it's my job to tell you all the workarounds that are working for this following problem so even if you are not able to solve this problem even after watching this video then there's no point of disliking this video because it's at least working for some of the users and I'm just doing my job so I hope you understand and the second thing that I would like to mention is I will be making many videos about DV error codes and I will be making different videos on each of the error code but the content of all of the videos will almost be the same there will be only slight changes in these videos and the reason that I'll be doing that is because when a user search for a specific error code they get result for the videos matching that specific name so I want most of the users who are having this problem to get attracted towards my videos because all of the fix I am showing are genuine fixes so if the, I sum up all the things, if I sum up the name of all the errors in the title of this video, then this will not be user friendly. So I will be making video for each error code separately. So I hope you understand all of this. Now let's get started. So the first workaround is clean booting your PC. And it's really important to clean boot your PC because clean booting refreshes your PC and closes all the necessary apps that are running in the background and cannot be closed manually. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, it's really simple. I've made a separate 2 minute 45 seconds guide and I will be providing you the link of this video in the description of this video. And this is a really nice guide, a quick one. As you can see, like dislike ratio is really pretty nice on this video. So just watch this video, clean boot your PC, then follow further steps. So that's it for the first step. Now the second step is also a really important one. And this one we have to go to my documents or just documents in your PC and go to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And here all you have to delete is players and players to folder just delete th these two folders and that's it because these are the configuration files for your game call of duty once you have deleted them then you have to configure your game all over again once you run it but for most of the user this problem is being fixed by just deleting these two folders so just delete these two folders and it might fix the problem for you all so that's it for the third step now let's come to the third one I saw this workaround on reddit forums as you can see I have opened all the reddit forms here I went through all these forums and was searching for a probable fix for this problem and I found this solution here so all you have to do is select all the files, files selected in this image I will provide you this image through this link in the description of this video so you can watch what all files to select here just select all these files and delete them from your call of duty modern warfare directory and then all you have to do is just go to your battle.net as you can see this is battle.net you might be you must be playing your game with the help of this only so just go to a battle.net and scan and repair your game so this time when you will scan and repair it will see that these files are missing from your game and it will re-download them and the reason that we want to re-download all these files is because this error generally appears when some of these files are either corrupted or partially downloaded so just download these files again and then try running your game and now most probably your game will work fine and one thing more make sure that you run battle.net as an administrator just right click on it and run it as an administrator so that's it for the second workaround now let's come to the fourth one and it was submitted by one of the viewers on my channel the viewer here wrote i solved the issue by turning off cache sun and shadow quality full screen borderless changed nothing but it was working for some of the users so what you have to do is first of all try changing your game to full screen borderless and then try running the game if it does fix your problem then good but if it doesn't fix your problem then try doing this turn off your cache sun and shadow quality because it's verified because it was working for this user and also this user as you can see this user has also comment commented absolute legend thanks so just try doing it it's working for two of them so i hope it works for you too now let's come to the fifth one to the fifth workaround is i read one of these things on one of the reddit forums i can't find it right now but the thing is if you paused your game installation or downloading if you paused your downloading or installation of this game at any point of time then you have to reinstall the game all over again there is a bug with this game that do doesn't allow you to play the game if you have paused it while downloading or installing 
so i'm sorry to tell you but you have to reinstall the game all over again i know it's a lot of gbs more than 100 but still you have to download it all over again so i hope you found this video helpful and if you found this video helpful please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more gaming content thank you and have a nice day and here as you can see i'm also having an update you you can also check for more updates if you're having one and then download them restart your pc and then most probably your problem will be fixed and now the last thing is this is a really general one so a lot of users don't believe it actually works but this is the one that actually worked for me when i was facing this problem so this was also posted by one of the users on my channel he wrote that's what helped me thankfully microsoft has already released an update that fixed the problem mentioned about but who knows there might still be some users who have not updated their windows since then out of fear and are still facing performance issues and it was confirmed by this user here he wrote windows update boys I wrote, can you please confirm updating windows is working? He wrote, this worked for me, but it seems there are a lot different solutions to same issues. Have had no crash after I updated with a new key. So all you have to do is just go to your start menu here, go to your settings, wait for it to load, and then go to update and security. Once you are here, wait for it to load. Oh, it's taking a lot of time because my screen recorder is on, on right now.